Good afternoon, welcome back. Uh, we are in the middle of the week now. Lovely, lovely Wednesday. Not that long now to the weekend. Uh, I am, as always, Luther FM, and we are on episode 65 of the Wraith Rovers Journey, uh, where you left us off last. We played four games, um, and we got three wins and one draw, so we did very well. We drew against Rangers 0-0. We hit the, we hit the post about three or four times. We could have won that game. But yeah, so it was a good, good episode, and we are now second, uh, still second. We're neck and neck on points and games played with Hearts. Uh, Celtic and Hibs have got 56 points, so they're still in the mix. Um, we're four points behind Rangers, so I think maybe second place, probably third place is more likely. For us and um, we're still in the Scottish Cup as well so we just got to hope for the best um, but yeah didn't have a game for about 11 days so I just holidayed so uh, I've had a few picked up a few injuries by the looks of it um, Bowler and M Mulu Getter was in the team of the week Jesse Lingard injured again I'm just going to get rid of him he's been injured every, like for the whole time he's been here so he's just going to leave Waste of a signing. I think from now on, unless there's somebody really special, uh, I don't think I'm going to be signing any like these older players, high reputation players. It's just not. It's just not really worth it at the end of the day. So uh, Delhi Ali and Pop has probably been decent when called upon, but not amazing. So I'm, I'm probably going to be looking to go in towards a more of a playing players from the our youth team. Maybe even go a youth only route, but I, nothing's decided. Nothing's going to be set in stone. I can still sign players if need be. You know what I'm like. I, I like signing twenty million players a season anyway. Right, so we've had a few players here that aren't good enough, so we'll just look to get rid of them. I think. Oh well, we tried to get rid of you, but nobody wants you, so we'll try and terminate your contract, I think. I don't understand why they're saying he's not good enough, because by the looks of it he is. So we'll just ignore that. He is decent, but not really played, so we'll all look to get rid of him. Uh... Uh, okay, what's that, what's that? Good, yeah, another injury. Josh Clark, seven, eight months. Probably just look to get rid of him because he's never going to play anywhere. Good, yeah, we've got an injury crisis here for the goalkeepers. Just get rid of him then we'll just release him on a free transfer then if he doesn't want to mutually leave us uh we'll keep josh i know he's injured and there's no point all right there we are right so they're out the door we need to get a goalie in now there uh, let's have a quick look at the free transfer market we do a goalkeeper Uh, nobody really stands out. We might leave it for now. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. We've got three goalkeepers there, and we've got got two in the reserves and that. There you go. We'll we'll call up him to the first team for now. Just to be on the safe side. Right, Dundee United in the Scottish Cup 
quarter final next. Who are we playing in the semi final? Right, there we go. We'll start the draw. Hibs versus Livingston, Dundee United or Rafe Rovers versus Partick or St. Mirren. So that'll be easy ish. So Rangers and Celtic aren't in them. So this might be our best chance of winning the Scottish Cup this year. Right then. So we've got Duras in goal, Ayano right back, Francis in defence with Diaz, Bruce is left back, Petrovic and Bobson in centre midfield, Coelho back on the right, Barr in the middle, Ruiz on the left, and Stewart up front. Let's try and let's hopefully hopefully we'll win this. St. Mirren won their game against Partick Thistle, so I think we're playing St. Mirren then if we win this. That's a big if. We've got to beat Dundee first. Dundee United, sorry, not Dundee. Don't want to upset any Dundee United fans, all Dundee fans. Right, Koala. Right, possession now, bar. We lose the ball though. Can we get it back? Oh, oh we were lucky there. Over the top. Dundee United look like the better team so far. Oh, yes, get in. Ruiz. Ruiz. 1 0 to us. Half time 1 0. Good. Good, good, good. We started that first half not very well, but we come into the game in, in the second part of that first half, so I think we deserve that goal. But I can see Dundee United scoring against us. We've just got to hope we can get another one first. Bruce, Ruiz loses the ball. Who's not performing very well? Stewart is not performing very well. We'll look to take him off in a minute. Uh, we'll put Camacho on, give him a bit of game time, see how he can do. Throw into us, Bruce to Ruiz, back to Bruce. Bruce loses the ball, unfortunately. Oh, thank God for that. Who else is playing badly? Nobody else is playing particularly bad. If we can grind out a 1-0 win, I'll be alright with that. Petrovic, we can take you off. You're tired. Actually, we can't take you off at the moment. Oh, great. Two players that are most knackered are our midfielders, and we can't take them off because we haven't really got any midfielders. Oh, no. What am I doing? Right, um, Bruce can come off, so 
Thompson. Oh, we have got a midfielder. We've got Rios. Uh, have we got any others? And then swap in for... No. There we go. Just leave us up. Right, let's see if we can score this goal here and see this game out now. Extend our lead. No, we don't. Got a corner there. Guerrero with the corner. Right, we got through, we got 10 million, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So much money for this cup, it's so funny. Yeah, 28 million in the back now. Let's see if we can increase the transfer budget or the wage budget. Even though we don't need to, because we've got a fairly big wage budget and transfer budget. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at the projections here. Oh my God. We're, gonna lose. We're projected to lose 60 million, 65 million. Plus every year. Great. It might end up having to be a youth only save just for the. Just basically because we haven't got any. We can't afford to buy any players because we're just losing too much money on them. Right then. I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Right, we're back for the next part of the episode. We've just got a few inbox items we've just got to quickly go through. Um, We've managed to be three years ahead of a schedule to challenge for a domestic cup competition, which is good. Um, we've managed to convince the board to give us more money for next season and also more money now. Uh, not that they've increased it by much, they've only increased that the current transfer budget by like a million, or we had 12 million in there, but not spending any of it, so it don't matter really. Can we see if we can sign him? Yeah, we'll sign him. He's been pretty good for us, to be honest. Oh my god, hold on, let me just bloody check how much money you wanted a week. Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm not giving 85 grand a week. Some of these live in a cuckoo man. Let's just have a quick look at how much, who's our biggest earner. Oh my god, can I terminate his contract now? Don't get me wrong, he's a, good, he's a really good player, but bloody hell, no I can't. That is a shame, right. Need to be careful with wages because we try and keep them no more than say forty grand a week. We'll be alright because obviously Deli Ali he's only on that because he's my uh, the player I sign in every single one of my FM saves if I can do it. So um, and most of these like this one and him and him are probably going to retire in the next next probably year or two or leave. So after that we'll try and keep it down to about thirty grand at the most. Uh, but yeah, that was a poor, I mean, don't get me wrong, on the performance side of things, he's been really, really good, very solid, but from a transfer point of view, no. I mean, the fact that we pay in all of his wages is ridiculous. Uh, right. We'll stop with him for now, though. Aberdeen, next game. We're currently third, so we've slumped down the table a little bit. There's other teams probably doing better than us. Have a look. 57 points, one point behind Hart. So we've got a game of hand. So they just they just played a game more than us. So yeah, we just got to beat Aberdeen now. The pressure's on us. Uh, 
Actually, when are we playing in the cup? So we've got one, two, three, four, and then the Scottish Cup semi final. And then we've probably got the what they call the Champions Playoffs, as they call them, after them fixtures. Right then. So Durist in goal, Ayano, Francis, Diaz, and Bruce in defence. Bobson and Petrovic in midfield. Bowler on the right, Bar in the middle, Ruiz on the left, and Stuart up front. Let's see how we get on here. Rangers are playing Hibs today. Uh, I think that's the only team we need to look out for, really, is the Rangers game. What I'm looking to say. Good clearance there by our defence. Aberdeen's still got possession though. Punched out lovely by Dewars. Oh, what's happened here? Why? Ugh, I don't know what happened there. Probably a handball by the looks of it. The yeah, Al Clark Harris is still at Aberdeen. How's he done for them? Uh, he's done pretty good actually, hasn't he? 19 goals in that championship season, 11 goals then, and then they went back up after a while. 11 goals, 13 goals, sorry. Done alright. We're not doing alright though. 1 0 down. In a game we need to win, basically. Oh, great. Come on, let's get a goal before the first half ends. Yes. Good. Right, can we get another one before half time? Bruce with the throw in. Pops in, back to Bruce. Get in, 2-2. Two, two. That's why I like to see referee, you buggering off, not having your finger on your ear. Great little fight back by us. Oh, here we go. Good save, do us. Right, 2 2 at half time. Doing well to get it back. Then let's see if we can win this game. Oyanu. But oh, a bit of confusion here. Should have got a penalty by the looks of it, but oh well. Watch Stewart's not playing very well, so he's coming off. Uh, I don't want to put Gail Hart on. I'll try Coelho up there, see if he does well up front. Right, Duras with the goal kick. Aberdeen in possession now. Ugh. I thought we were going to turn this game around, but maybe not. Maybe our aim is just to get a draw and hope for the best, really. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, they're all over us now. <sighs> we might not get anything out of this game. Come on. That's it, edit out, that's it. Good save, do us now. Let's make something of this. Francis is not playing very well. Uh, I don't trust Leon King in there though.
Oh, come on. We did so well to get it back as well. Our, uh, our hopes of getting second place are slipping every game. We might not even get third place at this rate. Right, Bob Sim. See if we can get a goal here. We can, right. Now, can we get another one? Can we at least try and get a point here? Put Rios in there. Yeah, Coelho's not done well up front. Aberdeen, maybe they'll score another one here, kill the game off completely. Good defensive play here. Right. Uh, can I take any more players off? I can. At least Sally. Oh, no, I can't. Uh... You're going to have to play there, because we haven't got any other players that can play up front by the looks of it. Oh well, not looking like we're going to get a point in this game, which is a shame. Great game for a neutral there. Right, we'll be back for the final part of the episode in a second. Right, we're back for the final part of the episode. Um, just had a quick look at the youth intake. We've got a couple of good young players coming through. Uh, we'll just sign them for now, and then once they're signed, we can have a look at them better. Let's do this as quickly as possible. Two elite talents and quite a lot of top talents, so that's good. And as we all know, when you sign them, sometimes the top talents end up becoming elite talents. So that's why I said we'll have a look afterwards. Uh, I'll just end these because I never bother with the good talents because they're, ne they're never good enough for the first team. And as I've got a big squad, I have to be a bit picky and choosy. Uh, him, David Cameron. Oh God! Sends shivers to my back. Up does that name? Come on, what's going on here? That's all right. My fault. All right. Right, that's that done. Quite a lot of people called up to the under 19s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's good. And then Lennon Miller in the under 21s. So you never know, we might be, them players there might end up becoming a golden generation for the Scotland national team at some point. You never know. Scotland to release youth players. Uh, now we'll leave that. Bruce, Barr and Ruiz in the team of the week.
Right, let's have a look. So you've got Duris in goal, Ayano is right back, Francis and Diaz in centre defence, Bruce is left back, Petrovic in midfield with Bobson, Bolo on the right, Bar in the middle, Ali Salier on the left, and Hoyland's back in the team up front. He's been sorely missed. Let's see how we go. We're now seven points behind Rangers, but at least everybody's played the same amount of games now. So it's a bit easier to figure out. Oh, God, Celtics overtook us. Uh, let's have a look at the latest scores instead. We might end up just getting fourth, to be honest. Ah, oh, there we go. That helps. 1-0 up. Dundee's beating Rangers. Dundee Knight, sorry. Celtic's beating Dundee. Hearts are winning 4-0, so we're not going to overtake them in this game. Oh, overhead kick there by uh, Oyane. Very ambitious. Ah, 1-1. One, one. Right, Diaz. Bruce on the left. Trying to find the pass. Oh, mm, too ambitious, I think. Bobson. Across to Petrovic, who sends it across to Oyanu. Oyanu with the goal. Look at that. Oyanu making it easier to uh, forget about losing Gary Rui. Right, Diaz. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, bar. That was not very good. Oh, here we go. Ah, we can never keep a lead, can we? We always have to make it harder for ourselves. Right, we'll take Diaz off. Uh, what do we put on for him? Valdo, put him on, and then we'll take you off. We'll put on Swazo. Ali Sally, you're knackered, so we'll put on Coella. We'll try him on the left, see how he does. Bobson, will you come off? Rios can come off for you. That's that. Nothing else we can do now. We've just got to hope and pray. We have been definitely FM'd here, though, when you look at it. Right, come on. Let's see what we can do with this now. Do worst. Throws it out to Francis. Coetzee. Right, bar over the top to Coella. Coella. Passes it back. Swazo gets it back. A nice little one two between them. Good save by their goalie. Corner. Save by their goalie. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, come on, Petrovic. 
I was hoping he was going to blast that in there. Oh, we're down to fifth now. Oh, come on, let's get a light winner. Come on. Oh, that's such a shame. Right, let's just do, do a team meet and see if we can encourage them a bit. Right. On that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Uh, thank you as always for following. If you haven't subscribed already, can you please give me a subscribe because it does make a big difference um, when it comes to people being able to watch my, my channel. The more people that subscribe and watch the videos, the more chance YouTube have got of pushing it out. So, yeah, I appreciate it anyway the ones who have been subscribed, the ones who have been watching. Much appreciated as always. And enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll be back tomorrow. All the best. Bye.